What's going on, Reject Nation? We gonna watch from Toon Sandwich, Art Spear Entertainment, their Wonder Woman 1984 trailer spoof. I think these guys always knock it out of the park. We reacted to several of their videos in the past. If you haven't subscribed to them, do it as soon as you can. Let's do it. <laughs> Trevor Ridge, it's a fire! <laughs> a long, long time ago. I love the voice of the upper. So many times, yeah, all the time. I just met this great guy. He holds my chair out for me, takes my orders, gives me free breadsticks. Are you talking about the waiter? I love him, Diane. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wanky badge, direct to cinema. <laughs> Welcome to the future. Minus three to four decades. Oh, Ooh, oh no. It's going to be a great year. <laughs> Life is good. But it's Star Court Mall. Damn it. Ha! Think about finally having... It's Joss Whedon's version. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh lordy. Your shirt said, oh lordy. Ah, <laughs> uh, that reminds me of... <laughs> <laughs> I can save today. Oh, God. <laughs> Furlough. Save on this success. <laughs> Only one person would give a woman a man's watch. That's right, Diana. I'm alive again. How? <sighs> it's always these questions with you, Diana. How am I still alive after being blown up in a plane? Why haven't I aged? Doesn't this negate my sacrifice in the first movie? Yeah. I mean, jeez. It's like you only want me around if it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't include a pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great build. I love you, Steve. Barb, this one's taken. Oh, I see. Well, just so you know, she told me she was in love a long, long time ago with some guy. And to be honest, I don't think she ever got over him. So good luck <laughs> trying to cram your square peg into the round hole of her heart. Barbara, this is the guy from a long, long time ago. Okay, so she loved you then. I love you now. Who are you gonna pick? I still love him, Barbara. <laughs> Barbara. Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Delightful. There's so much energy to that. Yeah. <laughs> so fun. It made me want to see that version of the movie. <laughs> that was hilarious. That was truly hilarious, mm -hmm. man. Oh, they knocked it out of the park on that one. I mean, just the voice alone of, of <laughs> and her accent. And I feel like, I don't know if I'm correct about this, I feel like usually their trailer spoofs are longer 
Yeah. Like they they don't feel like the length of a trailer, but this felt like the length of it of just an extended trailer. Yeah, exactly. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So it never lost that rhythm. Mm-hmm. Never lost that energy. Yeah, it, it was less like a, a sequenced medley of longer sketches and more. Yeah, just like it had that punch, you know, which I think is an interesting flavor to add to the comedy of what they're doing too, because you know it goes into the film style parody. You know, yeah, not just the observational parody. You know? I loved uh, the the voice she does for uh, Gal Gadot, uh, Wonder Woman. Barbara, this, this, yeah, just, like this foreign accent that's really trying to police. properly speak English. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So funny. That was really funny. Man. <laughs> they have these like little Easter eggs throughout that I would always notice, like a split second after I they know, transition yeah. to another shot or something mm-hmm. like that. When she goes the up against Lordy the shirt. the window and it says "Oh Lordy" on yeah, it, you know, <laughs> Maxwell Lord. And I love the physical parody gags that they do with all like the bullets hitting oh, her yeah. hand, the plane actually exploding on C. Oh, that reminds me of Steve Trevor. Well, just yeah. all the pictures of him around her, him being either blown up or like, yeah, the yeah. family farm on fire. Just like everything's destroyed. It always blows my mind to know that it's just two people who've put this together. It's two people. And that's why they're so late to covering this one trailer. <laughs> this tra- it took, trailer came out forever. It took all this time yeah. just to make this video. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. To write and animate and do the voiceovers. And so match it there's all. probably a version in their heads that's having them go, thank God for the pandemic, because it's made it a lot easier Woo. to keep this a little more relevant right now. Yep. <laughs> yeah, the next Marvel trailer, they'll have a whole year to deal with that one. And I love that a lot. Next summer, that doesn't include a pandemic. Mm-hmm. Well, and, and the classic, just to sandwich, pointing out all the sort of general logic things you're thinking of like doesn't my in return negate my yeah. sacrifice <laughs> the first movie these wings are pretty impractical and they're mostly just for looks I mean I want them to cover all the DC like DC fandom had so many amazing trailers come out you know, got imagine Star if Scott, they Batman. did the Batman <laughs> oh man that'd be, that'd, that'd be huge that'd be a huge video that yeah. would be the greatest <laughs> Art Spear, get on it. And I know they've dealt with like copyright problems in the past. I think their superhero showdown with the big the last big one they did. Mm. I think that was taken down temporarily for like stupid copyright stuff. I'm like, what they drew this? <laughs> no, no, there are no gray areas with the copyright yeah. on YouTube. It was so no <laughs> no such thing as shenanigans here. So I saw that they, obviously they took the the song the Blue Monday is that what it's called? Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. They took the song from the Wonder Woman trailer, but they redid it. They just like a interpolated bit. it yeah. just <laughs> enough to be like it's not new order. Yeah, it's, it's different. It's not. It's not even the remix version, yeah, guys. It's not right. the cinematic version. It's the royalty <laughs> free yeah. version. Uh, and I thought that sounded really good, and I felt like they really edited really seamlessly well to the the rhythm of that song. Mm-hmm. And man, they should be on camera more. They're both really good looking people. I know. They should just mocap these and then do yeah. a side by side. <laughs> yeah, it's like they're I am assuming they're a couple. Yeah, I mean you see these guys and you, 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 like they, they do all the animation and the voiceover work. But look at them. They're both really good looking. I know. They, you guys should do some more on camera stuff. Be on camera <laughs> yourself. You guys are. Save yourselves a lot of time on animation. <laughs> Damn. Be in your own videos. But I feel like their animation has even gotten a little bit sharper. It's not exactly a hundred percent photorealistic but it's pretty close uh, yeah. for the bringing the likeness of all these people these real individuals life and their animation but then the way they're blending their backgrounds up blurring it up a little bit to allow their characters to stand out to pop out a little bit more yeah. from the backgrounds I think are, are sh- much sharper than before yeah they've grown a strong visual earmark over time and it makes it always makes me wonder like are they taking images from these trailers and of these actors and rotoscoping them or are yeah. they like drawing them out but either way, yeah, they have their own unique little style. And I love seeing also just those images, like even just the fireworks scene, like seeing how it's transposed through yeah. the sort of animation style that they have. Like that's also just part of the fun for me. Ah, oh boy. Well, guys, come on. Get on it, guys. Batman. Make, make the Batman one. The Snyder Cut. Make one for the trailer number two. Make one, one for, for the, the Snyder Cut. Do one of, of Ezra Miller. What are you doing? Night. What's taking you so long? Come where's on, Where's your guys. WandaVision one? Where's Crank your Mandalorian one? Come on, where's my Hurry content? Up. Where's my free Hurry content? Up. Where's my Hurry free up. content? Hurry up. Where's my free content? <laughs> Just kidding. Take your time. <laughs> Take your time. It's, it's quality. We appreciate you. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys. Well, subscribe to Art Spear Entertainment if you haven't done so already. You can subscribe to the Real Rejects. Click that notification bell. And last but not least, let's do a. <laughs> Considering this is Wonder Woman, got to shout out a really strong woman. That is, of course, Maria Hammond. Mm-hmm. Tough, cookie, super ruthless, honest lady. It's had a lot of crazy life experiences. I love getting to chat with this woman because she always has a great story to tell 
whether it's something that feels uplifting or something that feels engagingly tragic. <laughs> it could be one of the two. Either way, she's always telling a great story and she's always very honest. She's not mm -hmm. afraid to tell me when she disagrees with me on something we've said or done, Open but she's book. always supportive. And I'm happy to have someone like you in my life, Maria, because you can't say that about most people. I think you and my girlfriend would get along really well, or you two would really fight a lot. It's gonna be one or the other. Uh, <laughs> Once you take the, the M and Maria, you flip it around, it's a W, so. There you go. Perfect. You're Wonder Woman right there. You're a strong woman, Maria, and I'm happy to know a strong lady. Keep it up. Keep up the, strong, the strongness. You're our lasso of truth. Mm -hmm.